This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. Y'all, Woo-hoo. we are both sitting here drinking coffee. But what's so funny is I, it's almost noon and I haven't yes. eaten anything. This is my second cup of coffee. And mm. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And you and I got on the Zoom and just talked for an hour. Yep. So now my body's like, you know what? That blood sugar is pretty low. This might be a doozy. <laughs> I also do appreciate for those that are watching that we did not end up wearing the same piece of merch today. But I did know that we would both be wearing merch today. <laughs> I had the green sweatshirt in my hand. Mm. And put it down. I said, I'll save that for Tuesday. Nice. I was going to text you and be like, I'm wearing the green sweatshirt. I just (laughs) want you to know. (laughs) Y'all, we got the merch. We are loving everyone who is sending us photos. It looks so cute. So cute. My my fall wardrobe has Mm -hmm. just been complete. It's going to be my entire fall wardrobe. I've already started laying out... um, clothing to do a little like try on clothing video oh we are we doing old school snap transitions what's the vibe i don't know it's basically (laughs) what clothes do i have in my closet that i have not touched in months because i've just been wearing sweatpants and sweatshirts Mm -hmm. so what can i play around with and dress up these pieces of merch and uh make a cute little instagram fashion girly video i love it i feel like you're bringing the nostalgia back Oh, thank you. Single-handedly carrying it well, on your on your chemo back. <laughs> I I think there's something in the air. Like mm-hmm. I was telling you, and I wrote this on our Patreon. You know, the recovery days after uh, infusions suck because I really can't do anything other than lay on the couch or the bed and just watch kind of you know easy stuff that creates noise in the background and makes time go by. And I fell down a wormhole. Of finding like Louise Pentland and Gigi Gorgeous like videos on YouTube and like Zoella and Whoa. her brother Joe and all of these people that are like still doing their thing, still making vlogs, still making story times. And I was just like, wow, this is great. There's, I mean, they're making like 45 minute vlogs, which is that's insane. People are out there on YouTube making hour long vlog daily content and it is wild but i will tell you when you're sick and there's literally Mm -hmm. all you want is just noise to pass the time it's great absolutely because here's the deal it's like even i as a person who's not like at like my job is to sit and recover you know like that's your work right now yeah i still am like i got nothing left to watch yeah yeah just from like my evening hangs I've you know? burned through a lot of TV. You okay? I've been meaning to text you this because I misread your text when you texted me that you oh, just no. started 90 Day Fiance, and you were like the new Gino, season, the new is season, the first season I've ever watched. That okay? I missed that part because you said Gino is the craziest guy you've ever seen, and I wanted to give you context that he's been on for he's like yes. legacy and has been bonkers since the very beginning <laughs> well i feel and like that, i saw like, a meme of him once yeah I, I i knew okay i went into 90 day fiance i think it's on like hbo max or something it's uh, i think discovery plus discovery plus okay it was one of those like mergers something. or whatever yeah and i started watching knowing that these were people that have been on for years they well, just still haven't tied new. the knot yeah okay. some of them are new and Gino and Jasmine, I think is her name, they've been on season after season after season, and she is just a character and I'm- polarizes the audience wildly. And their whole <laughs> relationship is so bizarre and yes. so seemingly toxic and emotionally like unstable in a lot of ways that obviously they make for great television. Totally. And what I will say, my overall impression mm-hmm. of 90 Day Fiance I've I've only watched I think like four episodes or something. Yeah, is that it's the, it's the least horny show of all time. Like I well, I don't want to touch anyone when I watch it. I want to <laughs> shower in Lysol. Yeah. Oh, you mean it doesn't turn you on? It doesn't make me horny. Yeah. They're That's horny. What... They're dressing up as nurses. They're getting blood, yes. butt implants. The last season that Jasmine and Gino were on, Jasmine recounted that Gino finally. <laughs> came while they had sex because Whoa. she gave him a golden shower <laughs> oh and she's just openly God. talking about that because usually God. he has to use pills to get it up they put it all out there it's a wow. bit tmi 
But obviously you see why producers continue to follow their story because they truly have um, no boundary on what they share. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. This is speaking of golden showers. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this clip of Jonathan Van Ness. I forget whose um, podcast he was on. I'm not sure whose it was, but he was uh-huh. talking about when he was in his 20s, he was uh-huh. taking a shower, like a postcoital shower with a guy uh-huh. and was like, you know what? Let me just, tr- let's just try it. I, <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the shower. Let's just try it. And that he got down and the guy peed on him. And the second it hit his chest, he, t- he swished his head and started projectile fall. <laughs> Anyway, I just, <laughs> yeah. this, the second mention of golden showers, yeah. that doesn't happen to me in a week normally. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Two See? very different experiences. Two ends of the golden shower spectrum. Wow. <laughs> See, we're already, Ooh. this is being posted as a normal pod, even though it's a, an evergreen one. And already yep. we're settling into like bonus pod, talk yeah. about anything with no restraint mode. Yep. yep absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, you guys submitted questions thoughts a lot of just statements uh <laughs> to my instagram <laughs> uh That's good. So it's just so funny sometimes there'll be questions and then sometimes it just has no context it'll just be like memories <laughs> someone was like i want to know chip's thought on this i was like is this chip's <laughs> podcast what are you talking about uh, Very so good. some of them felt more like rants okay but i did <laughs> okay <laughs> get gotta one. get it out somewhere so there is one I'll, I'll bring up later but we did get a lot of responses which we super appreciate in these awesome. times of evergreen episodes um so should we get into it yeah let's do it i feel um a little vulnerable this round because i don't have any of the questions or any of the prompts so i'm all ears Welcome to my world, Grace. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, you're like, yeah, but I, you can trust me. To, <laughs> no, it's actually, they're actually pretty sweet and PG. Like okay. the first one I'm going to ask is very easy. Okay. All right. I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, Anna Rose, do we say their names? I don't know. I mean, you get, I guess you can. Okay. It, it honestly doesn't really matter. Some. Okay. I'm not saying like her full username. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anna Rose says, thoughts on the Skims nipple bra. Now, we have a <gasps> Skims sponsorship, and I just remembered that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing what? Skims panties and bra right now. <laughs> Same. I'm not wearing a bra today because I don't have Why to. Why would you? <laughs> um, have you seen this? What's going on with this? Because I've seen headlines that say Kim Kardashian is talking about... Uh, climate change to get you to buy a bra okay i think the overall i haven't watched the the um commercial but i think the overall idea is that and it's you know i think it's parody but it is Uh a real product as far as i know is that it is a bra with built-in little hard nips okay i see i'm looking at images of it now and she's the fun thing is that she's wearing this bra with glasses on i know so i know (laughs) she's like she's like a professor in it so she's saying like with climate change things are heating up so uh so this feels like this will help your nipples stay harder this feels like the you know the talking part of a porn where it's like (laughs) she introduces a character and a subject uh-huh. matter and then all of a sudden it's just about the hard nipples here's the thing i don't i think hard nips are very on trend right now mm. now i myself am not a person who's ever on trend i <laughs> you know i don't need my nips to be nipping Mm-mm. you know why i'm not a I, it's not it's not my style well we don't need need is a weird word but like <laughs> i don't necessarily need to walk by and have someone go full auga staring yeah. at my boobies now yeah. if i was a gal who like was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk into this restaurant and i'm gonna pick up a hottie i yeah. might put some fake nips in there yeah i mean i think that Chip would be like that's absolutely false <laughs> i would look like i'm doing a bit like yeah, my, yeah, yeah. nothing it wouldn't look like sexy it would be like prop comedy yeah uh but to the women that do this that pull this off i have nothing but respect for totally it's just like never been 
my um, aesthetic. And also, my boobs right. have been through too much right now. That's to true. really start putting some headlights on them. <laughs> <laughs> We are not the Target demo. We are the demo for Target. Yes, um, there you go. That's a bumper sticker I'd buy. Now, I will say, let's be real. I mean, sometimes if, you, if you're cold, your boobs will perk up a little bit. Right. I've definitely twisted a couple nips before I... <laughs> I've been like, and let's perk up, ladies. Scoop, you know, before I walk the old reach down... Twist, twist. Now let's Hong get Kong. back out there, girls. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> so, Wake up. Um, so my thoughts are that we're not the right people, but I think it's yeah. hilarious. I think um, it's really going to do wonders for some people. Mm-hmm. And I might have to buy one just for fun. Just for, just for fun. <laughs> just for home. Just for chip. The... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I'm like, can I get them extra big? <laughs> but is the uh, see? Sunbot. I haven't watched the commercial, so I don't okay. know. But the the Earth is heating up. I thought is what is the byproduct of climate change? Yeah. Which, so they're saying since it's so warm these days, you can barely get a hard nip. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry. We'll we'll hard nip for you while it's still 90 degrees outside. Wow. Okay. It is interesting because they, I mean. The Kardashians know how to play the caricature that they've like painted for themselves. Oh, they they crush it. They know how to drive in that lane so, so well, which is why they are so wildly and like you can't deny how successful they are. Yeah. I mean, there's something to her playing this like caricature, you know, I'm going to sell hard nipples, but I'm also going to make people have to listen about climate change. Like there's something smart to it. I don't know if the full effect like reaches, like I don't know if it lands entirely, but like there is something like, oh, of course now the Kardashians are going to do their way of talking about serious topics. Yeah. And it's, oh, well, I, I do watch the Kardashians. I do. Uh, Um, See, that's the one. Thank you for reminding me. That I haven't gotten into. You got like and four this, seasons on Hulu. And God, I mean, there's okay. the old seasons, of course, but I like the Hulu one because yeah. like Chris, like the one that was before that ran for, I don't know, 20 seasons, something yeah. insane. You know, it's very much like set up and guard railed and let's build a story out. Yeah. You know, uh, that can be wrapped up mm-hmm. in this 30 minutes. This yeah. one, it's it's truly boring in the best kind of way. Okay. Because they're just talking about their businesses and fighting with each other and whatever. But it's not like, today we're going to a petting zoo. You know, it's truly like, actually, they did go to a petting zoo. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. But it was like, Chris was taking the grandkids and Chloe showed up because she's a control freak. Um, (laughs) But I do actually like it because they break the fourth wall. Okay. Now, so now, like, Chris Jenner is constantly getting drunk. And, a, and taking oh. edibles and now and she'll Great. just look at the camera and be like guys she's being ridiculous isn't she like you can tell that they are with crew yeah. that they've used forever and yeah. now they're finally being like tony i don't want to do this i love <laughs> that i love that that mm-hmm. i appreciate because there's only so it's only so much like that's what ha- housewives has done too like they've broken the fourth wall a lot yeah. producers they- coming in I love that because it's like you can only pretend that this doesn't have camera people for so long in this scene. Um, I also saw some old, old GIF from the Kardashians where they all look totally different than they do now. And it's just (laughs) like they're in a hotel room, but it's Kim coming in and hitting Chloe over the head with her purse, just trying to smack her purse. Like literally, I was like, who are these violent women? Oh, my God. This is the Kardashians. Oh, Oh They're still, you know, like late 30s, whatever, and got into like a fist fight last season. Yeah. (laughs) See, that part seems I don't have sisters. So I, you know, Mm. imagine what it would be like. See, Uh, me and Annie, we were never physical except one time I slapped her (laughs) and I ran. Yeah. I got one in and it wasn't even like. I mean, we were, I think we were fighting about borrowing each other's clothes as like, that's the number one sister fight. It's like, like yeah, I wore something before she got to, you know what I mean? If you wear something new, I had a fight and I remember slapping her and then just realizing like, what have I done? (laughs) 
ran down the street. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm, I have to move. Too much power. <gasps> Too oh. much. Man. Oh man. Um, but thank you, Skims, for our uh Oh my gosh. Sponsorship and I truly it. absolutely love them. You and I, I got know. I've been wearing their pajamas, their leisure wear all yeah. uh, all weekend. This holiday season you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. What's easier than that? You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tackling all of your holiday to-dos. With Factor, you skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and the prepping and the cleaning up too while still getting all of the flavor and the nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. You, you can choose from 35 plus weekly flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences all delivered right to your door and ready to eat in what? Two minutes minutes you can level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time you can enjoy premium ingredients like ooh broccolini leeks truffle butter <gasps> asparagus oh you fancy if you're looking for calorie conscious options they got you covered too with dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving and with factor you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice they offset 100 percent of their delivery emissions and source 100 percent renewable electricity for their production sites and offices this november get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered to your door ready in what two minutes no prep no mess i love factor uh they have factored into my life very much at this point ready in two minutes fresh never frozen i'm all in so head to factormeals.com slash tmgw50 and use code tmgw50 to get 50 percent off that's code tmgw50 at factormeals.com slash tmgw50 to get 50 percent off Tis the season to give thanks, and this year I am thankful for Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. You guys know I've been asking the universe for an entire body deodorant for years, and Lumi has delivered. It is a deo like no other. It has been created by an OBGYN who discovered that BO isn't just an underarm thing. No, no, it's an all over thing. So she developed a pH optimized deodorant that's clinically proven to block odor everywhere. Not just your pits, I'm talking your privates, your feet, and beyond. The best part is that no matter where you use it, Lumi is proven to keep working for up to 72 hours. If three days of odor control isn't something to be thankful for, I don't know what is. I actually use Lumi every single day. They have an unscented version that I, in my current state, am very, very thankful for. And it lasts, like I said, 72 hours. And if you're interested, the Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. And it could make a great gift. Just saying, if you have a friend that's not offended by you giving them full body deodorant for a gift, I wouldn't be offended. As a special offer for you listeners, new customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with our exclusive code and link. And for a limited time, returning customers Customers can get $5 off their next purchase of $30 or more too. Use code TMGW at lumideodorant.com. That's L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T.com. Thank you, Lumi, for making this holiday season smell a whole lot better. Okay, let's see. Someone says, what? this is an easy one, but I feel like it's a nice little comfort one. Okay. What is your favorite holiday and why? Oh. Because we're right here in the season, but you know, it might not be your favorite. Like, yeah, I, I never really had like a favorite holiday. Like we did, you know, like my parents decorate and things like that, but I, I don't, it never like connected with me that I'm like, oh my mm -hmm. God, I'm looking forward to Christmas or I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. Right. Until I started dating Elliot, who loves, loves. Christmas. Yeah, and he, he does. Loves... I love that about him. It's so pure. Yeah, he loves 
holidays. Like he was already last night just being like, should we try to get an Airbnb in Big Bear since we won't be able to travel to see our family this holiday and like go somewhere snowy and do Christmas like snowy and it'd be cute. Uh, And so I think I've now learned to like like and anticipate and like do things for Christmas because he like genuinely does. He likes it. Like yeah. with no cringe attached. And I think that's so sweet. And I don't know. I've never felt like excited about any particular holiday. Do you have a favorite? First of well, all, you love Halloween. I, Halloween. I, I think no cringe attached is a hilarious phrase. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should be. It should be like hashtag NCA. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I genuinely love it. Um, and also, well, I have another I have a follow up question. Uh do you guys have you developed any of your own Christmas traditions or is or you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Have we developed Christmas traditions? We we did something last year where we like um, made kind of like parameters for gift giving that like that's one smart. had to be like homemade, like one had to Aww. be a wild card and one had to be like something for us as a couple or something. I love- uh, yes. Or like one had to be like experiential. I forget. It was cute because it gave it like it gave both of us like we're on the same page of how we're giving gifts to each other. Yeah. Um, for Halloween, we do each of us pick like a, you know, scary movie and we have to watch it. <laughs> OK. Um, and this what year, is that's it? Why like the curse of Weir Rabbit, Wallace and Gromit? No, well, I always pick, I pick ones that aren't scary. And then I try to beg him not to pick ones that are scary. And yeah. this year, that's why we watched Beetlejuice. That was my pick this year. Oh, nice. And his pick was Cabin in the Woods, which is just extremely violent. <laughs> and so I watched about half of that movie with my eyes and half of it with just my ears and my eyes looking somewhere else. Um, so that's like a tradition that we've kind of started. How about you guys? No, I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat neither of us are big christmas people i mean like yeah. we've two of our christmases we've spent in tokyo right <laughs> like, yeah you know yeah, you mean? guys like, travel <laughs> we where they don't even celebrate christmas um yeah. so we don't really i i've talked about i talked about this on here i tried to start to build out a christmas vibe in my house very very small like yeah. a three foot tall pink tree but yeah. that was during covid where i was truly right. like oh we normally travel yeah we can't go anywhere. We might as well lean in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, no, it's just kind of like, you know, the regular Christmas morning of making breakfast. We, mm-hmm. and it's like we're single adults with no yeah. kids. So we're popping champers. Yeah. See, at that's 9 a.m. That's nice. We normally do this insane, intense travel uh, I know. week where we try to go to my mom's house, my dad's house, and then his parents down in Florida. And Crazy. Last, last year, halfway through this travel, we were like, we don't have to do it this way. No. Like, there's got to be a better way. And then this year, there is a better way. We will be here in Los Angeles. Uh, and I'll be finished with chemo, which will be great. So we'll get to do something just for ourselves and probably try and make little cute moments out of it oh, well yeah. we're probably gonna be here because uh chip works to like right up till christmas oh, so yeah. i mean we should start a new tradition for yeah. when you're here we should do like christmas eve benihana or something <gasps> i would love that maybe you know, we... i would love any reason to go to benihana <laughs> <laughs> maybe that becomes our like christmas yeah. eve tradition when we're all in la or something that sounds awesome i'm so wait. down no i as you know i really love obviously halloween which we'll talk about on uh, the yes. uh later or we ju- we already talked about last week well, it was time crazy. is a flat circle <laughs> uh, <laughs> and i love th- thanksgiving just because i'm such yeah. a hoster yeah that now love, it's like i just love stuffing i literally yes. bought a box of stuffing and made it and ate it stovetop did you day. yeah i saw it at target and i was like that looks great i'm gonna make that five minutes classic fantastic we love it, we love yeah. it. but so i really love uh that damn thanksgiving parade yeah it, okay it, well because here's the deal and again this is like friends thanksgiving yeah. you know that we do out here i'm gonna do on palm springs because when i'm home in north carolina it's like i'm at the whim of family and yep you know 
Thanksgiving equals small talking cousins I haven't seen in three years. You yeah. know? Yeah. And and one cousin being like, What are you wearing? And, and then <laughs> and he being like, Yes, you're the beacon of fashion lawyer yeah. who lives in North Carolina. Uh, you know, yeah. Like it's the same combo every time. Yeah. Uh but here I'm like, get up again, adult stuff. It's like yeah. let's I put some bloody Mary, some mimosas out. Yeah. That, that parade is happening and it feels like you're on drugs. Like yep. I remember last year, did I do Thanksgiving here? I think we did it. Oh no, we did it in Georgia. But I, mm. I remember at one point watching the Thanksgiving day parade and it's all, it's all crazy. You know, yeah. it's the Mad Libs and they're just going, there's Flula. <laughs> and Flula was on a float. With yeah. Adam Devine and Sarah Hyland promoting the oh, yeah. bumper in Berlin. But I was just like, you know, you never know what's going to happen on Thanksgiving when oh. all of a sudden one of your dearest friends pops up lip syncing. <laughs> Thanksgiving Amazing. Day float. Uh, Amazing. Um, so I can't wait. Okay, we've spent a, a bit on that. So I everyone's love it. like, they're like, we put in 500 suggestions and you. <laughs> you you read guys talked one. about not having traditions for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. It is who we are. And honestly, we've got enough that like we can probably get a second one out of this. Sweet. Anywho, I liked this one. This okay. is a thinker. B. Muratic, no idea, okay. said, who should host Drag Race if RuPaul dies in office? <gasps> a, I thought that was the funniest way to phrase it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. But B, that's a good call. Like, does Michelle take over? Even though oh. Michelle isn't a drag queen. Right. You know what I mean? Like, who is there a former contestant? Like, the right. way Brooklyn Heights does Canada? Who right. would be the equivalent of the American? You know, does... Uh, who's, like, I don't know the inner workings of, obviously, the drag world enough to know who's the most, like, highly regarded. I mean, m first that comes to mind is Bob the Drag Queen. I think is so Bob. funny. Oh, you and know also Sorry. Bianca Del Rio because she hosts the pit stop, mm. but she's a little sass factory. So she needs someone like sweet to balance her out. I feel like it would be like a duo or something. Mm. Two things. One, yeah. Bob the drag queen is like the narrator of Madonna's tour. Oh, fun. Like on tour with her. So when I That's see her great. in March, I hope that Bob is still on the tour yeah 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 um two i see what you're saying it's almost like drag is so you can't you couldn't have someone whose drag is so specific yeah or like who they have to be like very knowledgeable about pop culture you know what i mean yeah um yeah like i think trixie would do a great job i was thinking katya and trixie i went down a wormhole of watching uh, the other day oh, and it's god so good. it's just so good the editors so funny work is just like incredible on that show yeah, and they, they really are so funny so funny okay yeah i think maybe to fill rupaul's shoes you might need a duo that have yeah. control because rupaul is such a like a matriarch of drag right that rupaul is like well i know the history of drag because i lived it right right i know right. these pop culture things right. and just in general like RuPaul is so knowledgeable about that world that right. when you're dealing with drag queens that, you know, maybe were born in the 90s. Yep. And, you know, and watched Paris is Burning, but didn't actually go to drag balls in right. New York. Exactly. That you might need like a couple. Yeah. And I don't know the. I wonder if. um, uh, Oh, my God. What's her face? The, Michelle Visage. Michelle Visage would even want to host. That seems like a lot of responsibility. And also, like, she doesn't she doesn't have the physical experience of being in drag that I feel yeah. like a host would need to garner the respect from the contestants and the audience. So I don't, uh, I don't, I feel like it'd have to be, you'd almost want to ask the audience because that audience is so opinionated. opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they tore that MTV show to shreds. Remember that show that oh was like Brad God. Goreski and... A it was like the real gay gays friends of, of WeHo or something. Yeah, our Twitter was just like, oh, it's like they had torches and were going after it. Uh, and then changes were made accordingly, yeah. even though I don't know that anyone would admit it was because of the audience reaction, but it had to Absolutely be. Absolutely, had was. to contribute. 
those, uh, those Twitter warriors, as they call them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Making changes. Man, yeah. I don't know. I'd have to have, I think it'd have to be a queen that came up through the process, like yeah. a Brooklyn Heights, but like, um, like a jinx or someone that mm. is like well respected and does a drag that is so like well done. Jinx is know. risky with the, ep- with the, um, narcolepsy. <laughs> true, true. We'd have to consider you everyone's can't, you can't cut to the judge's table. Capacity. And Jinx is a snoozing. Fair, fair, um, fair, fair. Great question. Good, good thinker. Very, yeah, that's a great like party question to ask people to get them talking to each other. <laughs> okay, I've got a could ya? Okay, from Jafiko. Jafiko says, "Could you deal? Perfect person, but mm-hmm. every time they drink out of a bottle or a straw, they have to give it a little BJ." Oh. oh no oh no they didn't say the allotted amount of time i don't know it could be like little. 10 seconds but it's they give the the bottle or the straw a little blowjob okay hopefully they're yeah. not drinking out of a bottle all the time no not like uh, a baby bottle but like if they had a, a bottle of sprite and they're like oh okay <laughs> You know See, I mean? this is where, Obey your thirst. Well, I mean, you know, you shouldn't be drinking out of straws. So this is where if we were at a restaurant and they'd be like, do you want a straw? I'd be like, no, we don't need mm. we don't need a straw at all. Um, Make them if, drink draft beer so there's no bottleneck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cocktails with no straws. Um, I think, wow, if it's subtle enough and they just... <laughs> what if it's like full throat rattling, <laughs> like m- mimicking holding the balls like ben, full oh gargle. man just like okay so now we're miming while we're doing it uh i just imagine i'm like okay i'm sitting in a chili's and we order some yeah, drinks that's what i'm saying <laughs> what or, at, or you're at a meal with your family yeah oh man it's just that gentle neck movement that would yeah. be just enough to be like what's going on over there yeah uh, would it i mean and the question is Every, so every single time they go for a drink or just the first time that they have a straw? Um, every time they drink. Oh, see, I don't know if it's every sip. Every sip might be we're done here. If yeah. it was the very yeah. beginning. Also, they're going to get a cramp. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. When, when are we going to actually converse with each other? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's. I, straws aren't that prevalent in my life currently. If I think about good it, good for so, you. Yeah, good for you. And you know, we're trying to drink less from straws culturally as a way to you know follow in the Kardashians' steps and care about the climate. Um, See, so, Chip loves a straw. Like, so okay, this is more of a question for you. That I think I I think I could deal with it because we could get around the use of straws a bit. The damn thumbs up. This thumbs up. This thumbs up keeps popping up. Um, no, I uh, I don't know if I could deal only because beverages are such a large part of my life. True. Um, yeah. You know, they they are higher ranked in activities yeah. I like. Yeah. Um, however, no, Chip loves a straw. Like when we're at home and I make us a cocktail yeah. and I'm just sipping it, he has to have two little cocktail straws. Really? And he bites and he, <laughs> he bites them. Okay. And I'm always like, that's oh. a bad blowjob. <laughs> I know that's a, yeah, that's a terrible blowjob. That's rule number one. Rule <laughs> no number one, you're bad at this. Uh, but he always bites them, and I'm always like, you and these biting straws. He goes, I'm trying to restrict the drink flow because I drink so much faster than you. <laughs> like he's got a whole system in his head. I'm like, just take, just take less frequent sips. He's like, impossible. <laughs> he's always like, well, quit making the drink so delicious. I've got to res- put a physical restraint. Sorry. <laughs> what a sweet compliment i know i know um, uh, so he's making like um an obstacle course for himself inside of his drink okay yeah because yeah, he's he got... can't re- restrain himself <laughs> because i make a really great gin gimlet no i think the problem would be like let's it's like yeah we're all at a party and then someone's like do you want a beer and then they bring him a bottle and it's like no oh 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 that kind of bottle that he whoa yeah that's what i'm saying not a I baby bottle like, just cans just cans <laughs> just cans uh he can't just cans okay that's yeah. a good that's that was a good one Jafiko. that was interesting thank you for that that's a real thinker that's a real thinker oh okay this one came in and i was like this feels like one of those topics of you thought a lot 
about it as a kid thinking it would be a bigger deal when we got older. Like we've talked about the Quick John sand. Mulaney talking about quicksand, yeah. et cetera. Okay. Okay. When I think of perfect duos, I'm thinking peanut butter and jelly, hot dogs and buns, ice cream and my mouth. Yes, I might be a little bit hungry, but what about a perfect duo that comes through growing your business? That's you and Shopify. <laughs> Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your own online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36 percent better compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less effort thanks to shopify magic your ai powered all-star what i love about shopify is that no matter how big you want to grow your business shopify gives you everything you need to take control and take your business to the next level shopify powers 10 percent of all e-commerce in the u.s and shopify is the global force behind all birds raw and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs in every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial at shopify.com slash weird, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash weird now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash weird. We all love the holidays, but shopping obviously can be a very daunting task. That's why it's so exciting that Skims has announced its biggest holiday gift shop ever. You will find the perfect present for everyone on your list in the Skims holiday gift shop. I'm talking sisters, moms, dads, boyfriends, best friends, even pets. These collections have been designed for the whole family. I have the soft lounge sleep set that I have been lounging in, not just for sleep, I have been awake lounging in this sleep set all day. I also have their Fits Everybody scoop bralettes and their thongs, and I will say that's basically been my uniform for the last, I don't know how many weeks. Your favorite skim staples like Fits Everybody, Cotton, Soft Lounge, and Sleep are now available in cheerful colors and festive prints, plus Skim's signature holiday collections are back for the season and designed, again, for the whole family. You've never been this cozy at home for the holidays. Collections are available in sizes extra, extra small to 4X for women and unisex styles and start at newborn sizes for children's styles. Skims makes holiday shopping so easy with styles for everyone in the family. Skims Holiday Gift Shop is the destination for all your gifting needs. Believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims Holiday Gift Shop is now open at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know that we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select our show in the drop down menu that follows. That's the least you can do. In the meantime, I'm going to be over here lounging. This is Cogswalsh just says time capsules. Oh, ironically, non-timely. Have you ever made one, opened one? What would you put in it? Wow. Have you ever made one? Because I feel like that was a thing that people would do as in, in oh, in the school. eighth grade class yeah, has done a I time like, capsule they'll open in 20 years. I feel like maybe it was like something we did in fourth grade, but obviously uh, haven't followed up on it at all. I was thinking the other day, I don't know, I was watching something. And people were showing like old photographs of some documentary and they were, I think, oh, the Beckham documentary. Oh. And he was like, look, which is great. Um, looking through old photographs and I was just like, I don't have any mm. physical photographs. Like my parents, my mom has a lot of us as kids, I guess. Um, my stepmom and dad do. But like, I don't keep physical. We don't have any physical photos of our like 20s, our 30s, mm -hmm. you know, like that's wild. To me. It is weird. I was um, earlier this week, or I think it was on Halloween, on my college roommate text thread. Yeah. One of uh, one of my roommates said, "This is a long shot, but does anyone have the picture of us dressed as Tetris from our junior year's Halloween?" Yeah, yeah. 
And I thought, oh man, I mean, I know I had it somewhere because mm-hmm. we weren't on Facebook mm-hmm. at that point. Right. And I had, I'm pretty sure it's in one of my books. So I went through and tried to find, you know, old yeah. emails to an editor to, to find it, couldn't do it. Someone else found it. But then I was like, I think I have a photo album in like the back recesses of one of my closets and I got it out and sure enough it's not filled it's from one moment in time <laughs> in college but I I found a picture from Halloween of us dressed as the Royal Tenenbaums and wow. I and I thought to myself I was like when's the last time I went and found a photo right yeah that's what I mean that I was like they yeah. I was these documentaries there's he's just got all these old photos that he was referencing and I was like damn I have no old like from college I don't have yeah. any photos uh unless they're like very old on my Facebook when we used to upload like <laughs> I saw some meme that was like that's so funny Gen Z, yeah Gen Z would be uh appalled to know that we used to go out and then upload all 70 photos from our digital camera of like the even, even the blurry ones yeah are like eight from the same position <laughs> just, yeah, exactly. that is cringe attached but it was just like we didn't even question it no and so there's like some old stuff but um what would I put in a time capsule maybe I'd print out some photos relevant photos of the time um my first my like brain goes to like a piece of technology like Mm -hmm. from like a phone or something um from that time and I'm trying to think of like what else would change so much that it would be interesting to see what would oh maybe like a journal or something right well I was gonna say if it's first of all I've never done a time capsule I remember that me and like a friend when we were younger mm-hmm. talked about it a lot <laughs> I mean it sounds when you're <laughs> at that 10 year old kind of age time capsules seem really cool right oh hold on I feel like a time capsule might be the like a plot point in Crossroads, the Britney Spears movie. Am I, I correct? I, I was just thinking know. to myself, surely there's a bunch of movies of a certain era that deal with time capsules yeah. because it was such a big idea. Right. When we were in middle was, school. Yeah. Nothing was digitized or digital at that point. I feel like there might be a time capsule opening in Crossroads. Anywho, <laughs> um, I've never actually done one. But I feel like if it was a personal time capsule and yeah. not, then that would be a letter to yourself or, yeah. you know, yeah. check like a future in. self, like, hey, future self, this is what's going yeah. on right now. Maybe some, maybe some gold coins. Yeah. Well, see now, like, I feel like vlogging has replaced yes. this need for like printed photos and time capsules because it is, and that's like actually been a bit of like the catalyst for me making more videos during this Mm. breast cancer thing is that my brain cognition is a little wonky and I did want to capture moments to like I don't know if I'd want to look back on it but I'd like to have the option to in the future and so it felt like oh yeah now I'm vlogging not only for an audience but for myself to remember what this time was because it's so surreal sometimes and very and like very easy to dissociate out of in the moment. Totally, um, no, and, that makes and like total like sense. when we did Camp Dakota, and I was we, just gonna say that. Yeah, like it's so nice to have those. Like that was a real experience because I don't remember it as specifically as those vlogs captured it. So and the people that were there making it. So like totally. that feels like modern time capsule. That is, wow, yeah, yeah. That's crazy to think about when we go, we don't have any physical photos, but we do have a decade of <laughs> of just memories. I mean, yeah. granted, the majority of our videos, we were sitting, talking to a camera, not actively living. But yeah. And while I absolutely hate family vlogs, and I, <laughs> I do not yeah. think they can use this, uh, you know, like, way to say, well, we just wanted to just to have memories of our kids you know take all the videos you want you don't have to upload it and exploit it but it is cool I think sometime in the last year I don't know how it might have been watching someone's video and a suggestion or maybe I was just trying to remember a detail I found a vlog I had put up oh I think it was the last time we went to London okay so it was it was 2020 no 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 it was no 2016 
Yeah, we were Go. there for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And I remember I was like, oh my God, let me watch this. And it was us going, figuring out the show. I go to like a, a play by myself. We hang out with the Sorted Boys. We go to Ireland. Our car gets spit on. We're, yeah. we're doing dick bicycle. We're doing a Gautier putting paint on our faces bit. And yeah. I just remember going, this is so, like, I could show Chip. Oh, this is what I was doing the year I met you. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. It's very... I think it's especially um, in those years where things were so chaotic in a lot yes. of ways, too. I think it's been really great to have those things to reflect on and be like, that was a real thing we did. Or like, oh, my God, I forgot we did that. Like, that stuff is very cool. And I also, yeah, really, everything's just digital now. We yeah. have all these, like, digital memories that we're holding on to. It's very interesting. Digital memories. <laughs> Sounds like a new NSYNC album to yeah. me. Okay, let's do like one more something. Yeah. One more sounds we, great. We can save these. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me look around. Uh, we got some. Would you rather do like a fuck, Mary kill, a mm. sweet one, a food based one? Let's do a couple food ones to end okay. it because okay. I'm hungry. Great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sounds this is, great. I'm going to combine two. So okay. this will be from Bridie Thomas and also from Peter LK, something like that. Okay. Okay. Two-parter. First, what is your favorite, best flavor of potato chip mm. followed by what is your luxury or splurge snack where oh, you know like it's a little bit expensive, but mm. it's a splurge. Wow. Well, it's all my monetarily, taste- not calorically. Okay. All my taste buds are off right now, which I always oh. forget about. Um, do you want me to do a different question? No, no, no. This is great because I do okay. think about food all the time because like <laughs> I'm in a situation where it's like I want to eat. My appetite's really great. My stomach is just whether it can digest it. Oh, um, okay. Oh, the, okay. I didn't know that was the current. Well, my stomach's like you been want doing- it. Yeah, it's my just, stomach's been doing a lot better. So good. I've been like venturing out and having some foods like stuffing, for example, that are <laughs> not necessarily on this like bland food protocol. So uh, chips, I go, the first thing that comes to mind, sour cream and onion ruffles, and mm. then also Cool Ranch Doritos, which are crazy. See, and in the ruffles world, yeah, I'm going to mix it up because I'm not a big sour cream fan. However... Sour cream and cheddar ruffles. Oh wait, that's what I thought. To me, I are said. elite. Oh. Did I say sour, oh, you cream, said and sour cream and onion? I know. I'm thinking the orange dusted yes, ones. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I uh, love. They're so good. They're so good, and I love sweet chili Doritos. <gasps> Controversial. Oh, I'll have a couple of those, but then they get a little spicy. They get a little spicy, but here's one of the reasons why I, I love them. Yeah, is because when I was uh, a full on vegan. Yeah. They're one of those accidentally vegans. Oh. There's no cheese or dairy like the other Doritos because it's like a soy spicy flavor. Nice. And they fa- and they they you know what? They wiggled a place into my heart. X. I also love can't deny a barbecue, a simple barbecue chip. But like a really okay, yes. I ordered uh lunch from Mendocino Farms the other day and mm. and added a bag of barbecue chips because I was like this is just an itch I need scratched yeah and then they didn't bring them and oh, I thanks. I've still got a, a bit <laughs> still <laughs> itchy <laughs> still got a bit of a hankering but also a twofold a yeah. salt and vinegar or just a cracked black pepper kettle chip Ooh, mama yeah. it is worth the mouth sores yeah i mean i like the i like pepper flavor like i like the salt i like the pepper flavored smart food popcorn and they don't <gasps> yes. have that everywhere but it does start to burn your mouth in a curious way after you have too much absolutely <laughs> okay oh, oh, I, then to transition over to luxury per, uh, what, yeah snack? what is like a luxury snack what do we well, i don't know but i will say since you brought up popcorn Mm-hmm. That I ordered a multi bag, a multi pack recently, and it was expensive, mm. like m- more expensive than a regular chip. Yeah. Is have you had the Lily Seed Pops? No, what? I've never even heard of those. Google Google Lily Seed Pop. Lily Seed Pop? Let me My make sure. Yeah, Lily Skims seed, Nipple. Po- Lily Seed Popcorn. So there's these things called Lily Seeds. Okay. And they pop. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So it's kind of a cross between like popcorn and a like a soft Cheeto. Oh, like um, smart food or whatever those things are. Pirate booty. Pir- yes, it's like a pirate booty popcorn, but it's natural. Wow. And girl, they are delicious. Okay. I've never even I, heard of a lily seed. I resisted them. Uh, the wow. one you'll see everywhere is this Asha Pops, but then I got a variety pack of like a different brand. It was still like for eight small bags of chips. It was like $30. Oh, damn. Yeah, it says grain-free, gluten-free, corn-free, 50% more protein than regular popcorn. Packed yes. with plant price pro protein 67 less fat than regular popcorn girl wow they are delicious i bought that like i don't know 10 small bag multi-pack so we're saying it's a snack size and yeah. i'm buying it in bulk and it's still like three dollars a bag they Damn. ain't cheap you know like a normal little bag at a at a whole foods is probably seven dollars but when i tell you i'm addicted i'm addicted and i also am not sure if the lily seed pop if it originates as a uh, in india but i've been okay. getting lots of flavors that are in i got like a tiki masala flavor damn a, a tangy turmeric <laughs> but also an iconic white cheddar nice okay. you're gonna be obsessed but so that I'm to me it all up now yeah it's too expensive to become a habit okay but i, I like them i like i've um put this on our patreon before is one of my favorites um belly welly have you heard of this it's probiotic like snack bars and oh. one of their spokespeople is willow pill speaking of <gasps> drag race because there we go she's got ibs issues and this mm. is like a better kind of candy bar for your stomach and okay. i guess they're a little bit more expensive like a pack is like 26 dollars on yeah. Yeah. Amazon. That's so, pricey. They're, yeah. They're gluten free, dairy free, vegan, and they come in all different flavors. Like, you know, they got chocolate chips. They got chocolate chocolate chips. They got like, uh, you know, funfetti. <gasps> they got all kinds of Ooh, stuff. Funfetti. And they're really delicious. And they're supposed to be more gentle on your gut for you, which is why they're more expensive. So I guess I'd have to go with that as like my luxury Ooh. snack i'll throw in one more yeah go for it <laughs> i love it. we're just named name dropping brands yeah well, well sponsor this is how us. We, ma we manifest the sponsorship <laughs> that's how we do it um there is a candy brand called joyride Ooh, that's okay. into that's um it's like healthy gummy snacks okay so i mean like i'm trying to i need i'm oh, looking yeah. at, the, at the calories of stuff but so it'll be like keto no added sugar yep. like little um sour gummies or peach rings or gummy worms mm. and you know what i've snuck a couple bags into the movie theater no <gasps> regrets nice wow what no a what a uh a renegade rebel these i'm not so into the gummy stuff but elliot mm. this is his gem he loves like skittles and starbursts and yes uh sour patch kids like those are everything he likes and i like it's healthy and sour butter. patch kids you know Damn. i will say they're a little softer than a normal okay. one so what okay. i like to do mm. is i like to open the bag let those things stale up for a day whoa could you freeze them and like Put them in a drink as ice cubes? Just spitball in here. Now I'm getting crazy. <laughs> it kept going. You said freeze them in a drink. And then put them in I a drink. <laughs> and then walking. like they get gooey again. You eat them up. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what I haven't done and I and I need to? Yeah. Is Did you see on TikTok when it was trending of people putting, um, what are they called? Fruit roll-ups in the freezer? Yeah. Yeah. I never tried it apparently it's incredible i've seen really? people do it what do they what don't they put something on it or that they... ice cream yeah that's it yeah i've heard it's great haven't tried it i just think... recently tried uh this viral banana bark thing that worked out cra amazing you just the heck cut is a... that oh my god easiest thing to do in the world you just slice up bananas put them together in rows on a parchment paper cover it in melted crunchy peanut butter and then melted chocolate put it in the freezer let and some salt on top. Y'all gotta do the salt, flaky oh, salt. Oh, oh, it's so good. Wait, it's, you made it? Yeah, it takes four seconds to make it. Yeah, you're very fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <sounded> a <laughs> it's uh, all you do is so melt was that the on shit. steroid day? Yeah, that was my steroid day. <laughs> very quick. 
Nom, 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 nom. Uh, ah. And it's in my freezer right now. I had some for <gasps> breakfast. It's delicious. It's so good. Okay. But that's a, all that kind of stuff is in my algorithm. Haven't tried the fruit yes. roll up though. Uh, Maybe we should try it. I'll, okay. Hold me to this, Grace. Yeah. I'm going to vlog myself trying it to put on Patreon. This is about the time that you and I jump on trends is when they're very over. <laughs> And then Mamrie finally posts her video of her trying the fruit roll-up. There was like a shortage of fruit roll-up imports happening because this was so yeah, this was so widespread. But now is the time for you to be like, guys, I'm gonna try this. Well, speaking of doing things way too late, I finally posted on Patreon uh, red, white, and royal blue. Oh, is the, book. the book yeah i nice. finally actually posted to make it official with a date which i think is i think it's like the sunday after um the sunday of thanksgiving or nice. something like that well so we've got like a couple weeks leading up but oh, yeah. again it's already an amazon film it, yeah. that oh, came yeah. out two months ago <laughs> i'm like hey guys what do you think about this uh <laughs> this uh, gay rom-com we should <laughs> it's uh like they're coming out with a sequel before i read the first book well that means you know the book has got good <laughs> qualities so it won't be a full dud <laughs> oh my god okay Whew. hold me to it i'm gonna try it try it report back you've We're gotta all... try the lily seeds yeah i have a tab open to order it i can't <laughs> okay. wait this all is right. fascinating <laughs> all right wow. well i'm gonna go give this water a little bj Nice. And, nice. and drink it and get some food in my system so yeah, th thank you guys for all of your suggestions yes. these we were some real thinkers we started they talking were. about climate change and we ended with fruit roll-ups so there we go well nice. it got weird yep